Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG4 Ray, and welcome back to Start Over. I have got a crazy busy episode for you today. And let's just start right off the bat. There has been a hotfix update. It's a hotfix, which means it's a smaller update. But honestly, I think it's a pretty dope update. And this update has done two things that I am super duper hyped about. First of all, when you get on the ATV, you can now check the map. Thank you very much for that. That's a. I know it seems like a small quality of life thing, but it's not. At least not for me. It's a big friggin' deal for me personally. The other thing I saw was that they have upped the amount of spots that the storage has. Um, increased storage slots for small military boxes, plastic boxes, storage lockers, and large boxes. So this storage locker is now the biggest thing I can make. But I'm also still using some of the plastic ones too. I like the plastic ones because you don't have to scroll. I guess it really doesn't matter that much. I don't know. I just like the plastic ones as well. I'm going to use both. And I think they're, they're looking pretty good here. As you can tell, I have organized my base. We're going to get into that in a moment. But I had some things I wanted to address in the comment section. So, last episode, I tried to put ammo in this revolver. But apparently, even revolvers have magazines, I, I, I'm i guessing. So, all guns need magazines. Pistol and revolvers have two attachments, which is not obvious. So, you can, for example... Uh, drag a clip slash magazine and a light or laser attachment. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, so I'm going to have to go buy the, the, the magazines. What about the shotgun? Does the shotgun have a magazine with it? I don't know. Let's check. Uh, let's put that right there. That right there. And let's see. Or, or why can't I take out the shotgun? Oh, you got to put it in like your, yeah, your guns thing. That's right. Uh, so over here. Yep. There we go. So that's number one. So can I put it in the, this one? Okay, so I can. Because I want this to be a number one. Oh, wait. That doesn't go in number one. So I can go number two. Can I drag this down here now? Yes. All right. So number four. Okay, so apparently the shotgun does not need any kind of magazine. So, I mean, I know you're thinking, okay, there's a shotgun of a magazine. I'll bet you there's some kind of dope, crazy military shotgun out there that takes a magazine. Uh, you, am I right? Gun nuts? Let me know. Because I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. You know what? I'm just going to start bringing this with me. Why not? I don't see any reason not to. Okay. So anyway, yeah. Any magazines for that revolver? It's like a, it's like a cylinder uh, type thing. Also, there is a double door frame in the game. Now I missed this, but I'm not going to take 100% responsibility. I probably should have moused over it and read it, but I'm looking at it and it, it shows us a single door, a single door frame, but I guess there would be a single door frame. Does it look exactly like the other door frame? Um, Yes, it does. So I missed it, but I thought it would have looked a little bit differently. That's why I missed it. So I can make double door frames, and we are going to put that to good use today. Um, also, my coat right here, this outdoor jacket that I got, it actually gives me more pockets, which is awesome. I do appreciate that. Um, people said that they're, the mercenaries are in the starter town, and people are asking why I don't upgrade my base. As a matter of fact, I think that's what we're going to do today. I think we're going to upgrade the base to stone. All right, so that brings me to what I've done off camera. So as you can see here, I've done a lot of organizing off camera. Everything's where I want it to be. I like the idea of the furnaces being near a window. So that's why I put those there. It's got, a, we got a locker right here next to the furnaces and there's all my stuff for the furnace, which is awesome. And over here we have my gun, sorry, gun locker, which I already showed you. All right. Uh, right here we have tools right here. We have, I guess like, I don't know, just boxes and batteries and stuff. Uh, right here we have like, um, Plant fiber, leather, cloth, kind of animal stuff, soft stuff, also stone. I got a lot of stone already to upgrade the base. Um, over here is, is like gear, you know, clothes and, st and stuff like that. Also, I moved my hammer, my knife. I moved all my stuff up here because what was happening was when stuff was in the vest, it would just, it would go away. Uh, whenever I got on my ATV, it would just like be un uh, unequipped for my hot bar. So that's why I decided to put it up there. I'm, I, I do want to move some stuff down there though. But it's got to be stuff that does not go on my hot bar. So, um, let's see. Actually, pretty much all this stuff goes on my hot bar. I can put more, um, I can put more bandages and stuff in there. Possibly food. When I, yeah, let's get some food. These are my food bins. So we're just going to put all the, yeah, food's good. Food's a good thing to put in the vest. And we'll take a juice just in case we ever get into a point where, oh, it's at max. Wow, oh, man. Ugh, so the vest is not really that good, in my opinion. Everything's so much weight. 
Okay, well, whatever. I guess that'll be good for the vest. So the first thing I want to do is put those double doors in. All right, so we're going to take these planks. I'm going to take a bunch of this wood over here and set up some more planks. Oh, never mind. We already have 100 planks. All right, never mind. Let's take all the wood out of here. Uh, no wood in there. And we're just going to put this over here. Just kind of get this out of the way. Backpack, where did it go? It seems like it goes from the bottom up. Like, you think we'll go in the backpack because the backpack's towards the top. But it doesn't seem to do that. All right, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll put this right. By the way, my number six key, my number six key's bugged, so that's kind of annoying. I can't put anything there. So um, I'm hoping when I restart the game, it'll kind of take care of that. All right, take the door. Take the door. This is probably going to collapse what's above it, so I'll take that first to guarantee I get the resources back. Alrighty, and then we're going to take this bad boy right here and double doors. Uh, is that facing out? Yes. Oh, that's going to be so much better, by the way. All right, and then we put this right here like so. And then we got to put the walls up top. Actually, they're not full walls. They are these thingies right here. Nope, not that one, though. That one. Darn it, I should have kept it on the other one, because if it's if it's like that, if it's like that on that side, then it's like this on this side. I don't know if that was confusing for you guys, but sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh wooden double doors. Okay, so it doesn't quite show any arrow. So I'm gonna assume that's the right way to do it, I guess. So I think what I want to do also is I want to make a way to go down right straight. Because it's just better that way. Although it's not gonna match. It's it's kind of hard. To make the turn here. So we're going to take this out. And we're going to take this out. And then we are going to put in some stairs right here. Oh, wait. I don't, oh, I don't have a pickaxe in my hotbar. Okay. Put it right there. We're going to take this out. I am making gas. And this oil shale is uh, what I need for the gas. So I will grab this any chance I get. There we go. And then we need... Uh, we need some stairs. Uh, grab all that. There we go. Some stairs here and some stairs here. Okay, so should we leave it all open like that or? No, nah, I don't think so. I think what we're going to do now is we're going to take this part out. Okay. And then put in a railing thingy. Where are the railing thingies, please? There they are. All right, so now we could just hop on this bad boy. Oh, this is so much better. Love it. And then when it's time to go home, we come up through here. Come on. Right, it's a little tricky there. I don't know if I should like take that out and put a roof piece there. It might be a better idea. I won't right now, but something to think about. Oh, I love these double doors. Thank you for pointing that out, guys. I really appreciate it. I figured I was missing it, but I just, I don't know. I just couldn't, I couldn't fathom that that was the double door opening when it was only one door, but yeah, it is what it is. Okay. Um, I think right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and grab some more stone and we're going to start upgrading this base. I don't know how much stone I have, but I must have a lot. <laughs> I'm also going to need iron in order to upgrade the, the base. So I have been grabbing some iron, even though I have a ton of iron. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Let's just hop back on this thing. Check the map. I love it. I love that you can check the map. That's um, that's really nice. You know, they um, they're 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 making the game better. They really are. They're they're fixing what needs to be fixed, changing what needs to be changed. Is it going to be fast enough for most people? Eh, probably not. But I'm I'm having a good time with it. It might not even be fast enough for me. We'll see. When's the next major update going to come out? I want a major update, man. I'm hungry. I'm hungry for another major update. And I know I said I was done getting stone, but I'm just going to get one more. Just one more. There we go. All right. I wonder how good the mercenaries are. I'm thinking, like, in an upcoming video, maybe hiring a mercenary and going after one of the bandit camps. I don't know. Might be, might be fun. Or maybe not. Oh, God, I'm facing the wrong way. Or am I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was. Oh, it's a little hard to steer sometimes. I'm not seeing my house anywhere. Where's my house? Oh, it's over this way. There it is. I see it. I see you, house. 
What a great house. It's gonna look even better when it's stone. It's awesome. I might change the, you see this ramp I'm about to go up right now? I might change this one to be on the side to match the other end. So but I'll do that off camera. There we go. And the other thing I'd like is to be able to open the doors from the uh from the ATV. And I know it doesn't matter if they're closed, but I'm gonna close them anyway. Because I would like to feel safe and secure. Grab as much stone as we can. And then we're gonna put some stuff in here. There we go. Go ahead and turn that on. And that right there, that goes up there, and that goes right there. And this one was already cooking stuff, so we're good there. All right, so upgrading. How do we upgrade? How do upgrading work? So, come over here. Oh, yeah, we're going to need some iron as well. Uh, can I even carry any? Oh, yeah, I can carry it. Nice. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. And then five. And upgrade. Ooh, that looks nice. That is good-looking stone right there, man. Not going to lie. I'm just going to do the foundation for now. Oh, that looks good. Um, it's 15 stone and 5 iron. So it's kind of expensive. What is it for the walls? Um, 10 and 2. Okay. I kind of want to know what the walls are going to look like, if I'm going to be honest. Let's grab some more iron. So my, my original idea was to do all of the foundations first, but now I think I want to do the... Um, the walls as well, and there's a, there's a case to be made for leaving the, leaving the leaving your walls wood and the foundation stone, but I'm gonna go all the way with it just because it's a new thing. Oh, that's interesting looking. Okay. Upgrade. Oh, steel beam, reinforced plank. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I won't be upgrading that right now. Upgrade. 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 What if you could upgrade the roof? Upgrade. Um, but what to what? Is this gonna be like a stone roof? I might leave the I might leave the roof alone. Yeah, I think I'm gonna you know what? I'm gonna leave the roof alone. Cool. I think it looks pretty cool with the stone and the wood. Alright, so let's keep doing this. Awesome. Also, I'll probably be tearing out the roof at some point to make a second floor. So, that's another reason I don't want to do the roof. Alright, so we need more stone. Mm. I don't love the way the stone looks as walls. The the, the floor looks great. The walls, eh, I'm not sold on yet. But, who knows, maybe it'll grow on me. Well, I did run out of stone. Not so much iron, but stone. So, I think this will be the last stone I have to... I have to get before I can finish up the uh, upgrade of the base. I just gotta figure out which way it is. Am I seeing it through? Oh, there it is. It's even easier to spot a stone. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's a good looking base. I'm gonna leave the railings wood for sure. Um, should I upgrade the stairs? Mm, I'll leave them alone. I'll leave them alone for now. I'm probably gonna move them anyway. So, and let's come on up in here. Oh, I love this. And this is all by mistake. I didn't plan out this garage at all, but this garage is my favorite part about this build. So awesome. I don't know why I closed all the doors. I gotta go out this way. Um, oh, so my hammer came off my hot bar. That's weird. I didn't think it would because, uh, whatever. I don't really care about the hot bar anymore. Like, you know, he's gotta fix that ATV bug, man. It's really, you know, I don't like it. All right, so let's go ahead and grab that. What are we doing in here? It's all looking pretty good. We got some copper. Yeah, we got plenty of stuff to cook in there. Not a problem there. All right. So this is all taken care of all the way to here. All right. And then we just got to do this, 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 and this. Okay, so let's go around and make sure everything's good. So this is all looking good. The roof looks good. The stone looks good. I like all of this. All right. That all looks good. Yes, I'm gonna leave the inside part wood. If it's like inside, I'm gonna leave it wood just because. I think it's got a nice juxtaposition. The only thing I don't like is I had to make this stone because it's from the outside. So yeah, this is all looking really good. 
So, let's see what we need to upgrade the doors. Um, ugh, that's a lot of iron, dude. What about you? Uh, steel beam and reinforced planks. I kind of want to know what they look like, if I'm going to be honest. Alright. I'm going to do it just to see what they look like. Okay. Wow. Okay, that's worth it. Worth it. Alright, so what, what's a steel beam? Is that, like, hold on. Steel beam? I don't know what a steel beam is. I know what a steel ingot is. Are they called beams? Are the ingots called beams? Where's my steel ingot? Darn it. It's in here, isn't it? That's an ingot. Um, steel ingot. So I don't know anything about steel beams. It might be in there and I'm just not seeing it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the steel ingot and assume that that's what they mean by steel beam. Uh, nope, that is not what they mean. And reinforced plank? Alright, I don't know what any of those are. That might be in a in a in a um in an upgraded workbench. Well, since we can't sleep through the night, I'm gonna go ahead and make some new items here. I'm going to. By the way, I looked through. I can't find anywhere to make the steel beams or whatever. So I'm I'm assuming it's in the workbench tier three. But we're gonna hold off on that for now. I'm going to make a gas furnace. Um, iron, copper, wires, and plastic. Iron, copper, wires, and plastic. Hold on. Iron. Copper wires. Where did I put the wires? The wires are in here, right? Yep. Wires and plastic. And I think the plastic's already in there. Yep. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Is that enough? Probably not. We need something else. Um. Oh yeah, propane tank. Okay. I thought I could. Yeah. There we go. Gasoline, organic oil, and iron. Gasoline and organic oil. Uh, gasoline's already in there and organic oil, I believe is in here. Oops, darn it. Stupid tilde key. And we will put that in there and crafting propane tank. Now, will the propane tank be all I need? Do I need one for the grill too? No, we do need some steel and organic oil. I'm also going to make the grill. So we're going to need steel and charcoal. So, I think I already have charcoal in there. There's the steel. I thought I had enough materials. I'm like, nope, not so much. Gotta go ahead and get more stuff. All right, crafting. So, gas furnace, barbecue grill. Beautiful. I don't know how the gas furnace, the gas furnace is going to work. It says it's um, specialized in furnace using propane as fuel. So, I'm assuming I'm going to need, like, a propane tank and a... Propane filler thingy. Sewing station, workbench, fence. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just need the propane tank. I guess I won't know until it's done. So let's let's craft it up. Well, let's put the gas furnace down first. And it's going to go over here, but I'm not going to put it over there. For, for now, I'm just going to put it right here. Okay, so fuel. I guess I'm guessing I have to put a propane tank in the fuel spot. That would make sense. Let's see if we can put wood in there. Even though I'm pretty sure it won't go in there, but we'll see. That's what I thought. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this down as well. Although before I put this down, I'm going to pick this up. Where is my hammer? Get that out of there. Pick that up. Put this down. Looks like I want to put it down like that. Yeah, that looks nice. Wood? Ooh, okay. That's what I, I, I thought so. Wasn't sure. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and make another propane tank, I guess. All right, and then I'll see if I can if, see if I can put it in there and get this thing going. All right. You know, I'm just going to turn all of these off. And I'm going to take all this out of here. And I'm going to uh, also um, pick these up. Every time I pick one of these up, they automatically drop a bag on the ground. So that's why I'm not going to move the... The smelter over here. I'm going to move the smelter over here probably next uh, episode because, you know, simply stating it like a watch. Just watch. Bag. And it was empty. So that bag is shouldn't be there and it's going to be there. And that's just what it is. Uh, I'm going to leave these up for now just in case I have to smelt anything else. But let's see what we got here. So we got the propane tank. 
Max weight. Okay, put it right here. All right, and then we'll put this in here. Cool. I hope that lasts a long time too. Does this have more storage? Yes. Uh, actually, maybe. I can't really tell. If I'm gonna be honest. I'm assuming it's gonna smelt faster. Oh yeah! Wow, dude, a lot faster. The thing is, I don't know how much. I, I right now, I don't know how much fuel is in this thing. Like, can I? Yeah, there's no. Is there any way to tell? Yeah, <clears throat> I could be missing it, but I don't see any way to tell how much fuel is in this thing, which is um kind of a problem. So we're gonna go ahead and cook up some meat here on the grill. Fuel. Oh, wait, that, wait. Oh, it's gotta be like charcoal, right? All right, well, I got I made an extra fuel tank then. Um, yeah, it's gotta be charcoal. Look at that. That thing's so fast, I love it. All right, so let's put some charcoal in here. There we go, and is this gonna cook extra fast too? <gasps> oh, hold on. Hold on, we've got different stuff here. Mixed stew, tuna, raw meat, salt, and water. Oh, water flask. Okay. Is that really worth all that stuff, though? Tuna and raw meat? That would have to give a lot of food to be worth it. Then you're also giving up salt and stuff. What about fish balls? Cooked tuna fish, organic oil, meatballs. Oh, all right. I think I want to make one of these. I guess we'll try and make this. Water flask. It, it, it better not consume the water flask, though. Because that would be a bit much. Water flask. Um, I thought I could make a... There it is. All right, let me make, let me make a water flask. Also, um, I did make one of these uh, water jugs. And I, I do want to make a water dispenser, although we might not get to that. Today. Empty water jug? Never mind. We will. Plastic and iron. Okay, so we probably don't have enough plastic. Okay. I'm going to make the water dispenser, and I'm also going to make the flask, and then we're going to do some cooking. Okay, this is kind of weird. Um, in order to cook tuna, you have to cook it in a campfire. Um, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. I'd like for this to be my one and only stop shop for, you know, uh, for cooking stuff. But I did cook some tuna in the campfire and I made some fish balls and I made some meatballs. And now we're going to turn this off for a minute and we're going to place down our water dispenser. I don't really know what this thing is going to do, but it should be pretty fun. I'll put it right here because it's pretty close to the outside water source. Okay, fill water flask, drink open. All right. I don't know. Fill, drink. Yeah, I didn't think so. You got to put stuff in there. All right, that makes sense. All right. It would make more sense if you had, like, pipes and stuff that could, like, be used to pipe in the water. Because I still got to... There is no... Hold on, whatever. All right, so we come down here and we fill the flask. Five. Fill the flask. Empty flask jug is needed. Is this thing full? Yeah, I already filled it. Okay. So you don't have to have it in your hand to fill it. And then I come in here and... I guess, what do you... Just put the water flask in there? No. Fill water flask. Drink. Open. All right. I don't know how this thing works. I'm not going to worry about it. At least not for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to put this in here. I'm really curious. Oh, you can't move that there? Then how do I get the... um? The water flask. Has it got to be on me? Hmm, that's weird. Insufficient names. Okay. Tuna fish. Raw meat. I don't think there's any tuna fish in there. I put the cooked tuna fish in there. All right. Tuna fish. Okay, so it's got tuna fish, raw meat, salt, and water flask. Tuna fish, raw meat, salt, and I can't put the water flask in here, so I'm not really sure... Not really sure how to do that. Maybe you can't cook that stuff yet. If uh, if I'm missing something... Maybe it's because I'm holding it. It's because I was holding it. Okay. So I'm really curious if it's going to take that water flask. It better not. It's too expensive for just a meal. I can't believe it took the flask. <laughs> it's freaking insanity. What the hell? I didn't take a flask. I'm never going to make that again. I mean, yeah, the flask isn't super expensive, but still. I mean, I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and eat it. Maybe get it back. Uh, there, number five. Oh, I see. You make it in the flask. That's fine if I get the flask back. That's definitely going to fill me up big time. Oh, really? It didn't even fill me up all the way. 
Wow, that's garbage. That's absolute trash. I'll never make that again. Okay, well, fair enough. We'll just have to wait until we get hungry to see how good the meat, the meatballs and stuff are. Also, um, one other thing. Check this out. You can't cook copper in this. Wait. Yeah, you can't cook. Yeah, because I, I thought it wouldn't let me put it up there, but it does. You can't cook copper in this thing. Copper can be smelted in a furnace, but not this kind of furnace, I guess. Unless it's a bug. I don't know. I'll probably try it again when I log out and log back in. I really would like stuff to be replaced. I don't want to have to keep a campfire once I get the grill. And I don't want to have to keep a furnace once I get the gas furnace. You know, so we'll see. Hopefully the developer will change his mind about some of that stuff. But, all right, guys, I am going to call this one here. Um, I was going to go get the ammo for the guns or the, um, the magazines for the guns, but we simply ran out of time. This is a really, really busy episode. That will be pushed to next episode. It'll probably be the first thing I do. So if you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. And for you super fans who stuck around to the end of the video, I've got a little bit of bonus content for you as a reward for being here till the end. All right, the water dispenser. I went ahead and made another water jug. I went outside, filled it up, and then you put the water jug in here. It's just like those, uh, you know, those... Those like water dispensers that you would see like in an office. And there you go. So now I can drink out of this thing. And I don't really know how much it holds. Yeah, so it seems like it holds five of five units. So it doesn't hold a ton, but you could fit two in here. So that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, that is awesome. The water dispenser is legit. All right, guys, that's the real end of the video. I'll see you next time.